Calmag, Calmag, Calmag. What is it? Is it necessary? When should we use it? How much we should use? Let's talk all about this in this video. Calmag is basically the calcium and magnesium supplement. Calcium and magnesium are one of the essential micronutrients for the healthy plant growth. If the plants are deficient on these micronutrients, we will see issues like blossom and rot, stunted growth, some branches being dead, and pretty odd shapes on the fruit. Now, is this necessary to add these supplements to aerogarden? Think of it like this. Do you take vitamin A supplements even if you are eating carrots regularly? I don't think so. We are already getting vitamin A by eating carrots. So why do we need additional vitamin A supplements? Aerogarden nutrients already have calcium and magnesium. That is good enough in most cases. I have grown so many varieties of cherry tomatoes in Aerogarden using Aerogarden nutrients and I never used Calmag supplements for any of these cherry tomato varieties. However, I have grown some big size tomatoes like Vero Kawaii 42 day tomato and Roma tomatoes and I noticed some blossom and rot. So this is where we need additional supplements. The calcium and magnesium in aerogoden nutrients is not good enough for these varieties. So whenever I notice the blossom and rot, then I will add these supplements. Many other plant nutrients, for example, my favorite nutrients Maxi Grow, will also have Calmag. Next question is how much we should use? It is actually mentioned on the bottle. I recommend you better follow what is mentioned on the bottle you have. The one I have recommends 2 to 4 ml per gallon during grow phase and 3 to 4 ml per gallon during blossom phase. Since I am growing these bigger tomatoes only in the bounty model, I simply add 5 ml of Calmag every 2 weeks. One important thing that is worth mentioning is, I only add these supplements a few days after I added aerogarden nutrients. The reason is, since aerogarden nutrients already have some Calmag, I don't want to feed the plants too much Calmag with these supplements. So if I add aerogarden nutrients today, I will add Calmag after 7 days from today. Next question is, can I proactively add Calmag supplements instead of waiting for the issues to show up then react? Since I am very confident that the Calmag in aerogoden nutrients is sufficient for any cherry tomato variety, I am not going to add Calmag. However, I will be adding Calmag proactively for any bigger size tomato varieties. That is all I know about Calmag. If I miss any important details about these supplements, please let me know in the comments below so that everyone, including me, can be benefited from your comments. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.